you can follow me if you want. So I'm inside. It's sort of like a little phone booth, um, but it's pretty comfy. I've got a sleeping bag right here that we sleep in so we don't have a, sort of like a little bit of a cover. We don't fly all over the place. Um, but you know, you can sleep in any orientation. I have it sleeping, feeling like I'm standing up right now, but like you saw, I'm on the floor, but it doesn't matter if I turn over and I sleep upside down. I can't have it, I don't have any sensation in my head that tells me that I'm upside down. reformers in Britain who were then seeking to end the slave trade. In 1837, a House of Commons Select Committee condemned the atrocities against the Aborigines. But the difference between sympathy and action was a convenient 15,000 miles. I think it's a very calculating attitude which, which makes an entire nation of people write out 200 years of history um, and, and, and then speak only about imperial history. They speak about the pioneers, the brave white pioneers, the brave women who settled the country as if we didn't ever exist. And all of that history is based also on, on the legal fiction which established for them that they legitimately owned this country they call it terra nullius. In other words, empty continent. The law says that we did not exist in 1788. Therefore, the continent was empty, uninhabited wasteland, and therefore the British had a right to occupy it. So you see, there have never been treaties here because we didn't exist legally to sign a treaty with them. Six, five vehicles armed, Three, two, one, fire. Missile away. Plus five. Plus ten. Burn out. Good burn. Copy, good burn. 